for those who don't know, uh, we do have our semi-annual home buying event. Uh, we do this, um, of course, twice a year. And this year we are featuring, um, of course, our uh, featured attorney here, Miss Alexis Hart McDowell. All right. So she has no affiliation with McDowell's on uh, from coming to America. So I'm sure you've gotten that though, right? Absolutely. Every time, especially when Halloween comes around and they send me that picture of a uh, McDowell's. Uh, wow. Wow. President. There you go. <laughs> yeah. All right. Perfect. Perfect. Okay, so let's go straight into uh, number one, of course, why you are, uh, you know, doing, well, well, no, well, first off, let's go into your background a little bit. How'd you actually get into law? So I always knew I was going to be a lawyer since I was about three years old. I am the only girl and I have an older brother and a younger brother and they always got to do things that I could not do. And, you know, it was a whole lot of gender inequality going on in my house. <laughs> you know, you can't go by yourself because you're a girl or yeah, I don't want you going down there because you're a girl. And I said, we're going to rid homes of gender inequality. Um, that's right. That's why I went to law school and quickly found out that that was not an area of the law. <laughs> so, yeah. um, uh, so I went ahead and, and switched and I uh, practiced uh, corporate, uh, nonprofit, and real estate. And I love real estate. I'm a real estate investor, a real estate attorney, and a private money lender as well. So all things real estate um, are, is, is my passion and my purpose. Wow. Wow. And we've been following you for quite some time. You've most definitely uh, put together our own uh, LLCs and things of that sort. So, yeah. so we most definitely you know, trust your expertise and we can't wait to uh, share the stage with you at this event. All right. So thank you. I, your events are always amazing. Just top notch, so well produced, extremely well attended. So if anybody is wondering, wow, should I go to this event? It is absolutely the event you should be in attendance at. You are going to get a wealth of information. You're going to get a wealth of contacts, um, connections and knowledge. So do not miss their spring home buying event. Absolutely. Absolutely. So now what are some of the things that you're going to be covering while you're there? So I'm only going to do a brief presentation while I'm there, and I really want to hit home for people what you need to be looking for to build your team um, so that you can have a successful and a smooth real estate transaction, all right? Um, it's one thing to be nervous and anxious about buying your first home, which naturally can occur because you're spending the largest amount of money that you're probably going to spend in your life uh, on this investment property. And you want to have a good experience doing that. And you can get to the finish line, but if you get there bumped and bruised and arms broken and you're tired and crying, then the experience wasn't as good as it could have been. And that's what I want to talk to people about. If you have the right team, you can have a better experience, the best experience uh, for yourself and enjoy, actually enjoy your home buying process and that new home that you're getting ready to step into. Absolutely. Absolutely. And I think that, you know, there's a very big topic because a lot of times people, um, a lot of times people, they're just, you know, uh, choosing any type of attorney. They have no idea who the person is. Um, even if sometimes it may, you know, it may necessarily be a referral, you know, yeah. from uh, the agent. And we, it's, it's always best to kind of go with, you know, someone that someone has worked with before and, you know, find out more about their expertise, find out about their background, find out how many transactions they normally do. Um, you know, find out what the communication is going to be and things of that sort. So you play a major role um, in the entire process. So now what does the attorney do uh, during the home buying process? So I just want to highlight the two things that attorneys need to be doing for you during the process. First of all, they're there to protect your legal interests. All right. That's number one. This is a huge transaction. It's federally and state regulated as far as your mortgage is concerned. So you want someone who understands the laws, understands who's supposed to do what, and making sure that they are called to the carpet if they're not doing what it is they're supposed to be doing for your best interest. So the two ways that attorney, that a real estate attorney is supposed to protect you is through paperwork, one, understanding that and getting you to understand it and be comfortable with it, and two, advocacy. We're your advocate, we're your mouthpiece during that process so that you understand 
uh, that you get what you want during the process within reason. Um, so if someone's trying to take advantage of you or they're not being fair or they're misinterpreting the law or just creating laws, I've had that happen in a deal, um, <laughs> that just don't exist um, to your disadvantage, we're here to step up and say, hey, that's not gonna work. That's not proper. My, that's not in my client's best interest. So those are the, the, the true highlights of what a real estate attorney is supposed to do for you. Now, of course, there are several other things that we'll be doing as well, but that's what you need to know. And when you have the right team, and let's be clear with your, who your team consists of. It consists of your realtor, which of course is going to be Calvin, all right? right. It consists of your real estate attorney, which of course is going to be me. That's and right. And it consists of your lender, all right? Those three people basically determine whether or not you're going to have a smooth and enjoyable um, financing and closing process. And if our communication is off or our teamwork is not there, you are going to feel it and you are going to experience it. And it is my goal that you experience nothing but joy and um, a smooth transaction. So I have heightened community communication with Calvin and heightened community with your lender uh, as well. So that's the main thing that a real estate attorney is supposed to do is to get you to the finish line, get you there intact, and get you there hopefully with some joy and some happiness in your heart. <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. And we just closed a couple transactions just we recently. Uh, had a little drama, you know, in, in, in it. But, you know, but you most definitely got us through it, you know, um, you know on the legal side. So I, now I think, I think that's important for people to know, too, that sometimes it's not always a smooth process, but we're not throwing that on our client's lap. Calvin and I may know something going on in the transaction. We may know it's bumpy, but we're only going to let our clients know what our clients need to know in that moment to make the decision that they need to make. We're not turning around every five minutes, calling them, oh, do you know what he said to me? And do you know what they did and this and that? That's not the point. We're the professionals. We're supposed to carry that burden so that you have a smooth transaction. Now, there are some things that neither Calvin nor I can avoid. If there's um, lending guidelines that are required that's federally and state mandated, then it may cost a little extra time, but that's on your lender. Um, but we do our best to make sure that you have a very smooth uh, transaction, and that's through our heightened communication. Perfect. Perfect. You know, and again, now, and, and correct me if I'm wrong. Now, to do, can you do a real estate transaction without an attorney? You can. I do not recommend, recommend it. it. Yeah. And I tell you what, a lot of people um, did uh, transactions without attorneys earlier on and we ended up in that mortgage crisis and people didn't even know what they had signed. They ended up in foreclosure, they were agreeing to things, it was straw deals because they didn't have attorneys involved and they were like, oh, we can do it on our own. But you don't know what those papers are saying. You don't know what you're checking for. You can, you can technically give yourself your own surgery, but are you, are you going to do that? Do you really right. want to <laughs> No, get a licensed professional to help you so that we're high, held to a higher ethical standard and we're here to advocate for you and make sure everything is correct for you. And we go in knowing you're going to go in guessing. Right. Wow. Look at that. I'm going to write that down. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's good. That's good. You know, and that's the thing is that I've, I've, I've seen people, even with family, They'll say, you know what, well, I'm just selling this to my friend, my cousin, or whatever the case may be. And you want to make sure things are done right. You don't want to have, be in a situation where you're trying to fix something later down the line. I've seen that, you know. And that happens times. so many times, Calvin. So wow. many times. Even the transactions between family members, they think, oh, I'll just do a quick claim deed. Guess what? I've had mm -hmm. transactions where people have done just a quick claim deed, no attorneys of all. They didn't have the right um, transfer statement on the quick claim deed. Mm -hmm. And then... The person that they wanted to have it didn't own 100% of the property. Wow. And so it just, it, 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 it just dwindled into a mess. But because they didn't have an attorney to help them say, hey, this is the right statement, transfer statement that you need on the quick claim deed. And it just fell to pieces. Yeah. And we do this all the time. I mean, it just makes the process a lot easier. You know, so I try to be one of the easiest agents to work with. Because yes, I call, I text, I, I email, I, everybody's in the loop. I follow instructions. <laughs> It says, yeah. hey, you know, put my assistant on all these emails. I said, she ain't going to be mad at me. 
So <laughs> <laughs> that's right. And you do have one of the, some of the best communication I've seen. And it really makes the, the process easy on your Thank clients you. too. And I think that's why you have so many happy clients because you're listening to their needs. You're empathetic and your understanding of that. And I think that is one of the other topics that I'll talk about at the Home Buying Seminar on March 21st is that you have to have people with emotional intelligence. I know that this is, you know, a big old brick or siding house, but it's more than that. It's emotion behind that. It's feeling behind that. And you have to have people on your team with emotional intelligence to navigate that process. Absolutely. Absolutely. Well, listen, we most definitely appreciate you taking out your time to uh, not only be at the event, uh, speaking at the event and things of that sort. Uh, the live is kind of going in and out, but I'll make sure uh, that the video is most definitely put on all of our platforms and things of that sort. So we got a couple comments and things of that sort. So, uh, but I'm glad that everyone was able to get a, a snippet of what this is all about. And of course, guys, make sure that you're there. Make sure that you invite a friend. Uh, it's a free event. It will be packed, okay? It will it's be packed. It's going to be packed. It's always <laughs> Absolutely. So, absolutely. And then, Alexis, did you want to leave anyone with anything? Yes, I'd like to leave them with my contact information. So, first, I'm going to leave my website because if you get to my website, you can get all of my contact information. It's enterpriseesquire.com. That's enterpriseesquire.com. My phone number is 312-884-1424. 312-884-1424. You can schedule your own free 15-minute consultation on my website at your convenience. Just click Let's Talk Now, find the time that works for you, and I'll be ready to speak with you and help you out. Awesome, awesome. And you know, I like that you mentioned that too, because there's a lot of times where people don't want to ask a question on a mm -hmm. public platform, and they say, you know what, but then the DM is always popping after you know, a lot. So <laughs> it's like, all these questions, you could have just asked, but it's all good, you know, so it's good that you're welcome in that, and make sure you guys schedule that 15-minute consultation if you guys got any questions, comments, or concerns, okay? Perfect. Thank you. All right, thanks again, Alexis. You have a good one. You too. All right.